What to say when he asks, what are you looking for in a relationship? Many women have been put into this dilemma of having a man ask them what they are looking for in a relationship and not knowing how best to answer. So I'm going to be diving into that today so you can give him an answer that makes him light up, excited, and want to provide you with all of your heart's desires rather than pushing him away or making him feel overwhelmed or that it's inauthentic and not actually true to what you want. So hi, I'm Brody Boyd, if you don't know me already, and for over 20 years combined with my wife, Antia, we've been helping thousands of successful women all over the world to get the relationship of their dreams, so let's go ahead and dive right in. So if a man asks you, what are you looking for? There's a couple things you want to do here. Number one is you want to be honest, open, real, and vulnerable with him. So you don't want to sugarcoat it. You also don't want to tell him what you think he wants to hear, but you want to start by actually listening to your body, all of the parts of your body, which is putting you into your feminine, and listen to what do you actually desire? What is your heart's desire? What is your soul's desire and your body's desire in a relationship? Get in touch with that first, and then you're going to share that with him. And the best thing to do is to share it in a feminine, vulnerable way, which is talking more about how that would make you feel, the feelings behind your ideal relationship. So that way you're opening your heart, you're being vulnerable with him, and he can feel it in a way that he's getting excited, he's getting enrolled into your vision, and he's going to want to help provide that for you. So I'll give you an example here. So a man asks, what are you looking for in a relationship? And you could say, yeah, you know, I would, I would love to feel, I'm looking for a relationship where I can feel safe, cherished, that the man is taking the lead, that he's committed to the relationship, he's investing, he's... We're going on fun adventures together. We're having ex the most exciting times. I feel, um, I, I would feel so grateful. I would feel so happy. If feel so joyful in all the adventures we can go on, and and I would also just feel um, that we're growing together and we're building a great life that I can that we can share and and have those those pleasurable memories that we're creating. So this is just a brief example. I just thought of it at the top of my head. But the idea here is, as you can see, you're using these statements a lot. I feel or I would feel. That's getting to your authentic raw emotions. And you're also describing what you want in a way that is about the experience, about how that would make you feel and how you want to feel. So, of course, you can say the facts, the facts of like you want to go on adventures together. You want to build a family together. You want to be in a long term committed relationship but then you also share how that would make you feel to be in a long-term committed relationship. You know, I'd feel so safe and secure. I want to feel so safe and safe and secure in a long-term committed relationship. And I want to feel also the excitement and joy of going on adventures together and, you know, maybe having a family together, building a family, integrating our friends. And, and yeah, get to those emotions. You want to try to find a variety. So I was using like happy, joyful, grateful, um, excited, content, cherished, safe, fun, love. Those are all great emotions you can use and you want to be true to yourself of what those actually are. But that's how you could share your vision in a way where you're getting him, he's getting excited, you're getting excited. And um, you don't have to also share that much at once. So you could just sh share the first piece, you know, yeah, I would feel so loved. I want to feel so loved, safe, and and commit and connected in a deeply committed relationship. That's what I'm I'm really wanting now. And so you don't you could also do it very briefly. You could also expand it. You could also just give one piece at a time. You'll say like, oh, that's that's great. That's what I want too. Or what else do you want with that? And you're being true to yourself. You're keeping your heart open. He's getting to witness it. He's getting to respond to it. And now you're creating a situation where he's probably going to want to talk more about it or start working towards that and you don't necessarily need to ask him also about his vision of course you can and you can say something like may I ask what you're looking for and he'll say what his vision is and he's going to explain that as well and you guys can kind of see how you line up or you don't line up now if a man isn't saying a vision that's very exciting to you or if he's not sounding like he's on the same page as you you could also share your emotions about that so you would say something like May I share something? May, may I share my feelings about that? And he'll say, sure. And you say, well, based on what you shared, you said that you're looking for, you know, nothing serious right now and you're wanting to explore and, and have fun and just see what develops. 
and I'm telling myself a story that that you're not actually looking for a long-term relationship or not open to a long-term relationship or that may be something that you're not ready for and I'm not sure what to do and it makes me feel it makes me feel anxious and I'm not sure what to do so now you're being open, raw, and real with your feelings. And it's a great conversation to have early on because now he gets to respond to that and he gets to say whatever he's going to say. You can't be attached to the outcome. You're not, you're not sharing this to try to control him or trying to get him to do anything. You're sharing it because that's who you are. You're a vulnerable, feminine, open woman who shares vulnerably and who values herself. That she shares, she speaks up to her emotions. You're not burying anything under the rug leaving things unsaid and causing him to not value you because you're not really being authentic and you're not really speaking to your desires and holding a standard for yourself. So now he gets to respond to that and he gets to elaborate on what he said. And he may say, no, actually, you know, that's not true. I do want to have, I am open to a long-term committed relationship. I am, um, I just maybe not sure if that's something I want right now. If he says something like that, then you have to be honest with that too and say, um, may I share how that makes me feel? <laughs> may I share a feeling that comes up after you said that? Or may I share that uh, an anxiety that I have? And he'll say, sure. Another anxiety that I have. And he'll say, sure. So you're being very open and raw here and saying, when you shared that, it made me feel like this, you know, we're not really a match. We're both looking for different things. Or I feel like I'm telling myself a story that this um, is not probably going to be a good, a good match for us together. And then he can respond to that however he does. If he's still saying kind of the same thing, you can say, all right, well, it was great getting to meet you and I need to um, I need to get, I need to go home now. I need to get going. Um, but it was great to get to meet you and um, I enjoyed it and I hope you have a great night. If that's true, you, of course, you don't have to say these things if it's not true, but try to get, you can try to always leave with some appreciation of what was enjoyable. Um, you know, this was a great restaurant. Thanks for picking it and then leave it at that and move on. So this is all very powerful in a first date situation as well as if you've been dating somebody for a little while and you're finding that a topic has come up that he's asked you or it's come up somehow like what are what are what's the vision? What are what are your goals long term? What are you looking for? What do you desire in a relationship? And then you can have this conversation. So Hope this is helpful. If you'd like to learn how to get a loving, long-term, and committed relationship with a man who cherishes your heart, cares about you, and wants to commit himself to you long-term without being wishy-washy or indecisive, then make sure to take our free Feminine Polarity quiz by going to FemininePolarity.com, or you can click on the link in the description or comments below. This training, much love. Hope this was helpful. Continue to value yourself, continue to be that radiant feminine woman, and I look forward to talking to you more in our next powerful trainings. Bye-bye.